السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Dear viewer Today is the 9th of Muharram 1546 Responding to the 15th of July 2024 My name is Muhammad Sekarala I welcome you to today's episode of the Al-Hidaya show We'll look at matters Islam and science uh, how science affects us how science is supposed to be appreciated from the Islamic perspective and as a Muslim what contribution you can make towards uh, the enlightenment of uh, the rest of the people in terms of uh, the different scientific aspects inshallah today we want to look at a very important thing which is uh, the parent child genetic influence as one of the things that affect our beings as Muslims to join us uh, to go through this subject is a, a guest that we always have on the set every Monday uh, Mr. Hamza Sekalema whom I'm going to request to say salam inshallah and then we we'll see how to begin Mm. Our viewers, uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Masha'Allah. Uh, so that is Mr. Sekarema for you. Uh, we want to thank you always for keeping part of the show. We want to grieve with those that have lost their ones. We want to uh, celebrate with those that have reached milestones and successes. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continuous blessing you in your endeavors those, those that are grieving those that are, have challenges here and there we pray that Allah comforts you Mr. Sekalema the topic is parent-child genetic influence I want to believe uh, you know some time back we had a big discussion on DNA DNA mm -hmm. but the storm weathered down mm -hmm. uh, people are now with their own they are going about with their lives but uh, with this uh, theme for today, um, uh, what should my viewer appreciate as a key concept a key as concept. a Muslim? Yes, please. Now, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillahi. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We thank Allah subhanahu wa taala for giving us life and for enabling us to to be here and to contemplate about the creation of Allah. Now. Uh, my brother, the creation of Allah is a very complex sphere mm. and why Allah has made it that complex is to trigger the mind of a human being. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. the creatures which Allah created and he assigned onto them the task to think, to mm. contemplate and to worship him are essentially the two species. We have the jinns the and, and the, the human, man, beings. human beings. Yes. So when he says, Hu aladhi khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jamiyan, he's talking of those two creatures that, the are, assigned, and the human beings. that are assigned the task of contemplation. Because mm. the others, like for example, the, the anam, the cattle, the mm. goats, the, all these wild animals, for them they don't have to do contemplation. Mm. Their work has nothing to do with the worshiping Allah by a conscious decision. Yes, please. For them, they worship Allah by force, just like angels. The mm -hmm. angels cannot decide to say, no, 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 today I'm not going to do this. So they, they don't are, have the free will They to are do under so. compulsion. The only creatures that have an element of free will are the human, the human beings, beings and the jinns. And the jinns. So they choose to take a path of uh, righteousness or... Or a path of uh, being off the track. Off so the track, yes. the whole idea of uh, creation, therefore, mm -hmm. is uh, something that provides lessons to we human beings mm -hmm. and the genes. Okay. So Allah praises himself with this issue of worship mm -hmm. in a number of verses when he says two things about creation. Mm -hmm. He says, Yabda'ul khalq he starts the creation to mayuaiduhu. Yes, please. Now those are two very important things that we need to contemplate about. He begins and then repeats. He begins, then he multiplies. He multiplies, yes. Because you see, in the world of manufacturing, you can come up with one car. Yes. 
but when you are tasked to produce 10,000 of those cars you've just produced mm. yes 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 you yes. will find you cannot do it mm. you can make one but uh -huh. so meaning yabda ul khalq is something that is a miracle but thumma yu'iduhu adds another dimension to that mm -hmm. miracle the capacity of allah to easily multiply, multiply these single entities he has created and interestingly allah does not follow the same procedure when multiplying as when creating oh for example adam was created essentially allah talks of it with his hands mm -hmm. so meaning for him he was formed as mm. an object okay by allah mm. But when it came to time to produce Hawa, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala did not again create another and thing. Another frame. Oh, he instead picked part of this original template, then he created Hawa. Mm, yes, please. But when it came to producing us, he didn't again keep picking ribs and uh, he created a, a, a multiplication system, system that uses these two templates templates yes one being the template of adam which is the male template and the second one being the template of hawa which yes. is the female, the female template. template so by combining those two allah now made it very simple to generate billions and billions of different other human beings mm. each one simply picking half from each of these from parents. Of these so that is a, a miraculous thing about the issue of Thumma Yu'idu, meaning Allah even makes it simple to multiply these things that he's creating. That he's creating and yes. interestingly, he has not only made the multiplication of what he has created only through the combination of male and female. Male and female yes. He has, for example, made viruses, for them they don't need to have male and female they they come together mm. for them they just keep dividing themselves <laughs> and that's why uh, within a second they have created a million copies of themselves and they are everywhere they're everywhere yes so for course. that's how because it could have been possible for human beings also to They're multiply to ourselves multiply like ourselves that. You simply it. divide yourself into two. Mm, but I the problem it. with that method is that variation is very small. Oh, yes. So for purposes of variation, Allah SWT has made us to pick from our parents and out of it, he creates the rest. Okay. So let's now go into some foundational genetics. Now, this genetic business is a bit complex. Yes. But we want it to be as simple to every person as possible as possible yes please. so step one we human beings contain what are called chromosomes chromosomes now those chromosomes are like uh, structures that contain all the definition of who you are and mm, 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 mm. the male have two types okay they have what they call the x then they have what is called the Y. So it's X, Y. X and Y. And y, yes. Now, interestingly, the female, for them, they have X, X. X, They X. don't have Y. No. Possibly that is a scientific explanation of woman came from man. Because <laughs> man has... A, Man has uh, X, y, X, Y, but this product of his has only X, 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 X. Okay, yes. Now, the idea is within that entire structure of yours, which forms the definition of who you are, mm. the business of DNA and the others, you have pairs of chromosomes. Yes. So you have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Uh -huh. Yes. 23 pairs. Pairs. So total they become what? They become 46. Now. F for each human being. For each human being. Mm. Now whenever the two parents come together, they both contribute an equal number oh. of chromosomes towards this C child that is going to be created yes now interestingly remember you have a big set they are 23 yes 20. they are okay total 46 46 yes out of those 46 half of them you pick give the child 
the lady also brings her half mm. and gives the child. Yes. So in other words, when the process of mating, each of us brings half the uh -huh. number of their half. And that is uh, an interesting thing. Yes. We each bring a half. Mm. Onto the whole 23 pairs. So you don't bring the whole set. But now, one would imagine that since we both bring half, the children would end up appearing always half of half of the, the two, two of us the two of us yes meaning sekalala's child would automatically have some resemblance of sekalala than the mother mm -hmm. and so sekalema's children similarly it would be like that meaning we would not find a scenario where the child is like 100 percent the mom you can't see the dad anywhere mm -hmm. yes, yes. so the whole miracle is about how Allah randomly selects out of these 43 which ones you are going to contribute to the child. Mm, yeah, I get it. Yeah. You get the whole idea. Meaning the 46 do different things. Yes. They don't all, all, all do the same thing. But out of that entire 46, Allah will pick half of them. Half of them. And uh, mm. then the other half will come from the so, other side. From the other side, yes. So in the end, you may find that a child may have a very large number of chromosomes that define the way the face will appear coming from the mother. From the mother, yes. So in the end, the child flows nearly all to the mother. You can't even see the father. Mm, I get it, yes. You yes. get the whole idea. Mm. So that is the business of how we affect the our child, children. The children yes. Now, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has warned in the meaning of a hadith, mm that we be careful in selecting where you plant your seed. Your seed, yes, yes. yes By yes. planting seed, he's meaning the men. So he's warning mainly the men against the issue of the women. Of the women. Be careful when you're selecting the... That person that is spouse. going to move your progeny or your generation to the next level. Mm -hmm. So the Hadith warns you as a man to be careful. Then it adds on a statement that says the blood follows we are just giving a rough interpretation of the meaning mm. of the hadith mm. meaning your genetic makeup has an influence over the next generation next generation we have seen of course that you have 46 so the influence you have is randomly decided upon by Allah, by Allah depending on which so which, Allah uh -huh, which of those chromosomes the, 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 the 23 pairs is going to be choosing half in order to give to the child. But ultimately you are going to have an influence over that child. Okay. And that's why we find things like diseases that spread from one generation to another automatically. Those we call hereditary uh -huh. genetic. So those ones become hereditary diseases. So the other factor that the Prophet warned about Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about uh, the blood following from one generation, generation to another can be illustrated very simply just by observation through those diseases like sickle cell. Sickle cells, yes. So that is something that we need to note. The Prophet is therefore warning you that don't simply look at this person is beautiful this Beauty. one is the one that makes the happy mm. you need to worry also about these children the that children are going that to be going produced to yes the person may appear good etc making you happy but you have a responsibility of protecting, protecting this the, next generation, this generation from an individual that could either give them a hereditary disease or give them some attributes that are not very good. Not very good, yes. Now, of course, genetics is a, a fairly complex thing because to, to do research in there, you must be dealing with the live uh, live species. You may not do genetic research on, on something that is dead. Mm. And that's why for human beings, it has not uh, really been done uh, with a lot of uh, human samples. Usually they do it on rats mm. because the rats have a very close uh, resemblance of our uh, gene so structures. Yes, Allah has made them to resemble us. Possibly he brought them to us uh, to give us something that we can use we to can learn use about to ourselves. Yes, so a number of researches were done to look at the genetic influence of these parents yes. over the child in particular in ways. Particular ways. Remember the other hadith which the, where the Prophet is warning about warning, yes. the parent you can see that he warns the man to worry about the genes of the woman. Of the woman. 
not, okay. not the other one. Uh -huh. So you don't see him warning the lady. The, 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 the lady about the man. Interestingly, when he's warning the for, for purposes of the lady, yeah. the hadith in its meaning case, it says, choose carefully for your seed, meaning he's now warning you, the wali, mm -hmm. to choose carefully the yes. man that is going to be marrying. So the hadith says in, in the meaning, this is an Ibn Majam uh, hadith, choose carefully for your seed, marry those who are suitable, and give your daughters in marriage to them, mm. Ibn Majah. So that one, he's talking of the wali, the man, mm -hmm. choosing someone suitable on the other side. In that case, he's so talking it is, of the man. So it is the father being careful uh -huh, about who he chooses. So in other words, it's still the man that uh -huh, the is being warned. But you can see here that the prophet did not talk about the issue of blood. Of because blood. the blood hadith that talks about the bloodline following from one generation to mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. is mainly talking about the bloodline that comes from the woman. Mm -hmm. So yes. why do we worry more about the blood connection of the ladies as compared to the and blood connection of, of the, the men? Of the men, yes. I think we can expound on that before we go for the break. Sure. So that is one thing which the researchers are, were doing work on. And I think, uh, uh, Brother Kalala, just like we have been mentioning mm. here, yes, we Muslims already have certain research questions that come from the Sharia, from the Sharia. which would uh, give very good guidance in, 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 to, the, to the science researchers as they try to find some of these patterns. Because mm. if you already mm. have a hadith that is talking about worry more about the bloodline of the woman the compared woman to the man, the man, then in that case we would research wh why are we, why, are we wh so much? Uh, why is this hadith emphasizing more the bloodline of the mother, the mother. compared to the bloodline of the, of father. the father. But yes. would you think there are some researches that have been done to look at how do these two genders affect the child? The child? Mm. Now, some mice were put under an experiment mm. and they were looking at how they behave under stress or under situations of danger. Okay. Mm. Stress, danger. So, meaning they put a mouse and, for, and the good thing with the mice, they, 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 they really do very advanced mod modification of these mm. genes. By yeah. the time they create a, a new mouse, they, they have a, or edited the genes to fit a certain profile that they want to investigate. Okay. Now what they found is that the genes that come th that uh, th that influence emotions. Yes. The the, the genetic the gene. You know we have to tell the the, the genes the, <laughs> the sisters of humanity and then the genes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the viewer to be particular. By the way, <laughs> the two things are combining there. <laughs> so the gene, gene, the, the genes we are talking of, the, the genetic material. The genetic not, material. Not the yeah, okay. yes. maybe, maybe the other ones we shall call them gene. Gene. So, so, so when you hear <laughs> us saying genes, we are meaning the genetic material. Then okay. For the, the other creatures, material. we shall call them gene. Okay. Now they found that. Mm. The parts of the <coughs> brain that manage issues of emotional nature, things related with happiness, mainly came from the side of the mother. Oh, wow. Then the part of the genes that manage response to stress, fight or flight, mm. that part where the, the animal has to defend itself either by running away or by staying and fighting, mm -hmm. those ones were found to come from, from the, the father's, side. Mm, father's side. But you realize that the majority of decisions that we make in this life, they are largely emotional. They are, emotional. They are not necessarily on the side of a fight or flight. Because within a, a whole day, actually you may even spend a whole month without ever going into a situation that demands for fight or, or fight. flight. Because yes. those are the situations that endanger life 
So your system has to decide, do I stay and fight or mm. do I run away? I run away, yes. So you'll find in a whole year, you'll, we've only met those kinds of situations. One or twice. O once or twice. Mm. But the rest of the year, you are making these decisions that are based on emotion. emotion. And I think that is why the <coughs> Hadith is emphasizing, worrying more about the composition of the mother. Because if the mother gives you unstable emotional genetic material, material yes. it means the majority of decisions you are going to be taking as a person are going to be based on a faulty infrastructure. And oh, in that case, you will, you will turn out a worse Muslim. Because all the decisions you are making are essentially counting on your scale as a Muslim. Mm, yes, yes, so yes, possibly, yes. that is one explanation as to why the Prophet so, is so, so. warning the man to worry about that lady that, that is lady going to be uh combining with in order to create uh, this human wow well, mashallah uh, thank you very much uh viewer we are looking at uh, islam and science in the alhidaya show episode of monday uh, today we are looking at the parent child genetic influence and uh, our guest has ably demonstrated to us <laughs> that uh, the prophet Salasam has encouraged us has warned us to be very particular on the uh, active for the men largely that's the body of the language the men should be very particular on that the gen and the lady they are choosing for marriage and with a little discussion we've had is that the man and the lady in the process of mating we bring an, an equal number of uh, we call them chromosomes each of us has 23 pairs but the time of uh, reproduction we bring an equal number but because the the gender is always driven by emotions and based on the research that you just shared with us we find that there is need for a balance of and usually it should be the male gender that should surpass perhaps in the explanation given but it is all back to science and you know scientific terms require a lot of uh, contemplation and uh, uh, thinking about which inshallah we hope after this small break we will be coming back to continue dissecting and divulging into the details of what uh, the parent child genetic influence should look like as we go along. Eno yes salam TV. Mani mabati roofings. Tuzze kukuweleza. Tukulete dechi singa. Tukula mabati agabrichika. Okuli agama nyidua nga kategura. Saka gomu gongo mnene wamu na gomu tono. Tulinobu timbo busibebi komera. Saka bion nebi koze sebwa mkusereka. Factory ya fesangi wana weru kafonda. Opposite Starbucks Petro Station. Tukufuru miza choo ya gara. Mubudebu ochie tagiramu. We walebi okusimba kago. Ngovanja chewa sasurira. Tukubileko. Kuziro musamvu musamvu tano. Bibiri ya namonya. Bitana atano munya Oba zero musamvu zero satu Chienda mubili atano zero tano Mani mabati roofings Omu tindo wewe ya mubwa fe Tata Juna Landi road ya launa atukede Ya konkona Oka kasa Hey Kubera mo duka duka. Waji te tugena mo Info Trust <laughs> Property Consultancy. Ne tu tandi kampola ampola. Info Trust Property Consultancy. Badi ne taka kungu dozona. Nebi bugabiona. Eranga poloti zawe. Zitandi kila kumiliyo ni sati nechitundu. E zitandi za chapa. Songa teze chapa. Zitandi kila kumiliyo ni kuminabili. E raba kiliza nengola. E ya chiba anjampola. Info Trust. Basangi waka mocha. Kila lodi. Poloti chinana musamvu. Nga waka vakulubis petrol station. E simo. Noti musamvu noti muenda. Chenda monana. Kumina muenda. Asatu musamvu. Oba. Zero musamvu musamvu nya. Asatu Mobili, Abili Mosato, not it. For trust for the humble beginners.
My friend, just enter. Everyone now has all access to Pearl Magic Prime. Kasim, give this man some biscuits. They are over. They are over. But you see these people here? They are on a good TV class. Like you. But now they can watch big shows like Sanyu. Or they can watch Beloved and they cry. So my friend, from now on, it's more magic to Uganda's best shows on Go TV Plus. Oh, oh you can touch this. Hey, ha, but you can test it. Ooh, ha, but you can test it. Everybody grab a bottle and sip some. It's Miranda time, flavors and much. Tan tingling, fast quenching and bombastic. Oh, sweeter than sweet, bolder than bold, flavors explode, making you go ah. What you oh, you can test it. There's no flavor like Mirinda. Now in a fresh new look with the same great taste. Enjoy the tongue tingling flavor of Mirinda fruity, orange, green apple, and pineapple. Mirinda. Eno, yes, Salam TV. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A viewer who want to thank you once again for being part of the Al Hidayah show on Salam TV. Remember, it comes to you every Monday, 3 to 4 o'clock. And uh, if you missed out the beginning part of the show, uh, don't lose out on the other parts. Just yes. YouTube page, type Salam, and then uh, type in al Hidayah, then the topic will be coming and you can follow the discussion uh, after here. But before we went for the break, we were looking at the parent child genetic influence and uh, we started with the science bit, which I believe some people are already uh, scratching their heads. What is this that is going on? But don't worry, we want now to come into what we understand best uh, to the layman. Uh, so, Mr. Sekalema, before we went for the break, you were telling us the scientific uh, making sense of the uh, hadith of the Messenger Muhammad, sallam, scientifically, why he emphasized that the man should be very particular with the lady that he speaks for marriage, and also to the father of the, mother of the lady that should be given out for marriage, the prophet emphasizing also that the God choose good men for her. Now, we want now to come to the, uh, to the realistic aspects of this topic here, which we have some of what are called the hereditary diseases that, should, that could come as a result of us not paying attention to this subject that we are discussing. Kindly take us through, especially there's a, an element called sickle cells plus others. You can want to start us from there and build the discussion, inshallah. Now, now, we have seen the initial part of our discussion, it was mm. talking of uh, the emotions mm. and how they, they are mainly biased <coughs> from the mother's uh, uh, chromosomes that she contributes to you as a person. Mm -hmm. Then we also saw that the father also brings, but it's not a major influence on emotion. Okay. Mm -hmm. The father brings the part uh, that deals with fight and flight, mm -hmm. the part of bravery and those other things. Okay. So therefore you can see what you need to choose yes. among your partners. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, <coughs> this is, uh, this is, uh, we human beings play around with the issue of selecting spouses, but the animals don't play around with that. Sure. Before a lioness allows some lion to father its uh, cubs, cubs yes. it makes sure that it is choosing the strongest lion available. Oh my Otherwise God. It, it does not <laughs> Even mere birds, there are some birds which 
the male has to demonstrate proper, proper quality, quality. Before it. and some the, do it by <laughs> constructing <laughs> nests so it comes and inspects nests oh, wow. to find your nest lousy, lousy. Just flies out and not even waste that, time, that time to listen to explanation to how you were busy and you didn't construct it. meaning for the animals they don't play around with it it is us human beings who are we'll buffered by the outer appearance. Really queer, color, for example, height. Those things that sometimes the human being even <laughs> has no control. For example, <laughs> things like the beauty of a person. Beauty of a person. Human beings don't have much of a control. Of course, one may claim mm. that uh, if I marry a beautiful Machala X, just call them light skin then the children are going to be <laughs> okay there is some chance but remember that these chromosomes of appearance they are also selected yeah. randomly okay so you may <laughs> you may bring this <laughs> uh, thinking that kumbe the chromosomes that uh, that of appearance that are going to come from your that side that talk about because you, and you end up with the have a white and a black uh, <laughs> get married but you see the kids are very black and you uh, or in white. some cases they just take on the white mm. side mm. Uh, like uh, now those skin color and DTCT means the the majority are coming from mm. one, side one side and they are not balanced so in some cases you see a balance the, ch balance. the children are in the middle okay so let's but go to the uh, especially those that want to enter the marriage institution because this could be perhaps a, so a, a consideration to make yes we have <coughs> said worry about the the, ge the genetic nature of yeah. your spouse because the blood follows you from one generation to another that is the hadith so we look at some of the obvious things that we even have within our society mm. diseases that are inherited they are called hereditary diseases a few samples among them is one sickle cell then the other one is diabetes some types of diabetes mm. now what happens is uh, sickle cell is uh, simply a disease that comes out of badly formed red blood red cells, blood cells yes. not badly formed badly shaped mm. a normal red blood cell is supposed to appear like the way you'd see you see that tube of uh, a, a vehicle yes or uh, the tube of a motorcycle mm -hmm. possibly some people have never seen it outside they only see the tire mm -hmm. yes. so what else can we bring as an example maybe they understand definite uh -huh, exactly that, very yes, good KFC. now you see that donut the way it is that is the shape of a normal red blood cell. Red blood cell. Mm. Now, should that shape be distorted and the donut becomes a bit circular like this, because the normal one would be flat, mm. but with that swollen part. Yes, yes. But once it adapts a shape which is a bit uh, of that, that's why they call it sicko. Because the sicko is that thing we use for cutting grass. For cutting grass, yes. So that thing has some kind of semicircle mm, shape. Semi shape yes. So that's why they say sicko cell, because the cells are nearly in the shape of that thing that we use for cutting grass. So once you have some of your cells formed like that, mm. it keeps <coughs> carrying from you to the children and the story goes the story downwards. Downwards, yes. So, should you be produced by a parent that has some sickle cell, you will carry, carry that deformity. deformity. So, in that case, they call you a carrier. a carrier. Essentially, you are carrying that deformity, but it is not affecting you, meaning one who mm. sees you does not see any mm. symptoms of a conventional sickle okay. cell person. So, we are therefore looking at the man has... The man has sickle maybe 30 percent or whatever they, the way they calculate those things mm. then we have now the side of the lady we have said worry about the genetics of this person with whom you are producing a child yes please now for sickle should you now bring a lady she's also a carrier she's also a carrier she will appear very normal very no normal. disease nothing. nice looking as well yes now you come together you create this child who is now pulling two sources of sickle. Mm. 
chances are very high that this child is now going to be a full blown, a full blown sickle. Sick, sick. Now, for those who have made that mistake and they live with the sicklers, you know how difficult the entire situation is. These very badly structured red blood cells, mm. once this person's blood levels drop, mm. those cells keep piling in some areas within the body and they block the blood vessels. Oh. And it causes a terrible form of pain. I heard those kids that scream. is what they call crisis and that's why you need to always worry about how much blood this sickler of yours has that's why they keep uh, having to take that folic acid as a mm. permanent part of their lives because mm. once you play around with your blood level the next thing is crisis. crisis so therefore for a responsible Muslim if you have understood the basic genetics we are talking about mm -hmm. you have some part of that abnormality the wife also has some part once you combine these two uh, sets of uh, chromosomes you are you are bringing together to create the child you mm -hmm. are going to create a full-blown sickle child and it is going to become a problem both to you and, the and to the, the child, child. The child to the children. so it is therefore important that <coughs> we do the test so testing, Just like we testing, test for testing. HIV, we nowadays, as responsible parents, test mm -hmm. for sickle. For Once you find that the both of you have, simply abandon that love business you had started mm. to avoid putting your child into problems. Of course, one may come up with some excuses that appear to be valid. Uh, the Qadar, Allah is the one who makes But Allah has given you the knowledge to understand how his systems work. So he has given you the formula he uses to perform and that formula involves transfer of genetic material from two parents, create a single thing which has the combination of the two and it's very different from these two, you get a new creation, a very simple and effective way of applying creation. So that is one thing we should watch out. Diseases like sickle, these are diseases that are based on the parents. So whenever you play around with that decision and you just go ahead just because you are in love, you are putting, putting the next the person, person into, into danger for danger. no so, uh, justifiable reason. So Mr. Sakayama, maybe before we leave the sickle cell disease, no. uh, you mentioned about carrier and then the sickler. So I want you to help us again appreciate that the carrier is one who is not fully sick, mm. but if two carriers get married, they are going to produce they a sickle. They are going to produce a full blast And sickle. then also, if you have a, a sickler and a, a normal person is okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are sickler, yes. or you are carrier, okay, uh, let's imagine you are full blast sickler. Sickler, yes. Then you get one who is 100% normal. normal. That one is not a big problem because this normal one mm. will reduce considerably the amount of uh, sickle within the blood and the person will come out as just a carrier, okay, not a carrier, full blast not. sickler. So full blast sicklers are only produced by two parents that are oh, both sick. Uh -huh. both are and you can see really the wisdom of Allah in ensuring that parents contribute uh, yes. half of the child. You can see that diseases such as sickle could very easily be eliminated just by people avoiding mm. marrying right. one another when they are both sick. Because we, if we, if if Sekarala was a carrier mm. and he now marries a okay. totally non sickle, the child will be far less. Far if less. that child now marries a, a, a zero sickle, they will keep reducing. A time comes when that abnormality is not there. Okay. But unfortunately, within the African continent, you will have very many people that are having this disease. And this is really mm. something that comes out of our not being, no, careful, not being careful about this genetic flow from one generation to another. Something that we should be appreciative yeah, of as Muslims because uh, the Prophet has already given us an indication both within the nature of the person in terms of their behavior and also their yeah, physical, physical structure. structure. The other disease where you could find issues of genetic is uh, diabetes. Diabetes, yes. I think we shall look at that. Now, that. some forms of diabetes can be transferred from parent to child. Mm. And interestingly, there are special forms that are associated mainly with the Y chromosome, which is on the side of the man. Mm. So, meaning, let's imagine I have that diabetes and I'm a man. Yes. 
I have a, a lady, she's not having it, mm. so we produce children. Now the chances of the children being affected by my problem mm. will also be gender distributed. Okay. Because since this, uh, this gene, this gene mm. that has that causes this diabetes is associated with, with my why the, y the girls will not have any problem because for them they take oh. x so it's going to x. be the <laughs> uh -huh. only the male children so meaning the ones that will be injured by my diabetes will be the male because they're the ones who are taking this affected y part of me mm. and it is generating the other side uh, that is one other thing that we may also need to talk about Ma men blaming their wives mm. for not producing boys can, can kindly shed light on it because no, it's one you of the can't blame your problem. wife for your not producing boys Kubanga, the wife does not participate in the boy business for her she has x x you are the one with the X Y. <laughs> so the business of Womusika, Sinani Tanzari de Musika, you are the one that is supposed to bring the Musika. Of course Allah makes the decision. But uh, ultimately the boyhood comes so, from So you in other words, uh, as, as the, the gender we should conclude it is Allah because uh, there is a full verse in Surah to Surah to Shura, chapter 40, 50, uh, Where well, Allah is talking of how he. Lillahi, Lillahi, ma fi samawat wal ard, yahabul ma yasha, yahabul ma yasha, u inatha, wa yahabul ma yasha u dhukur. How you are with you? Dhukran wa inatha, wa yahabul ma yasha u aqima. So Allah makes the decisions, mm. but he has a formula that he has given you which mm. you can understand that you, the man with your X, Y, yes. you are the only one that is capable of creating mm. some boy with, the, don't you with think his think These are traditional <laughs> healers, manipulators. <laughs> uh, if you want to get a male gender, please, I have a... There is an but I saw. The man is claiming hey. among the services he's providing oh. there is winning court cases. Uh, winning again. court cases. <laughs> <laughs> now winning court cases. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Are you going to confuse the judge to write nonsense judgments or oh, what? Wow. But, oh, wow. And moreover prominently on a post in a yeah, public, post area, public that, area. Those are some of these. I services. also see them that if you want to change the gender of uh, if you only give him birth to mm. producing only male children, please come, we shall change for you. But Allah has indicated to us in that is uh, chapter. The, the male part. It is Allah who says the male, only female, only, or a mixture, or even some computer are barren. And it is from the side of the man. The man. So uh, is there any scientific uh, correction we can make for this man to also get a female gender? If he needed it, he will leave it to Allah's uh, determination. Of course, if you look at... Uh, mm. Uh, some advancements in in, 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 in in the way children are conceived, this uh, IVU business. Mm, IVU. The, some have very advanced ways of choosing particularly mm, which, what gender they want. Uh -huh, which part they influence <coughs> gender. Some are even saying they can eliminate uh, these sickle related the genes out of the ones they choose. Mm. Of course all that knowledge comes from Allah and from it's something Allah, that yes. we have to understand as human beings. If Allah gives you some knowledge mm. and you are able to dig deep into the cell and begin to segregate out some parts of the cell and choose out healthy and unhealthy genes, mm. don't boast that you have now made anything, anything that is of, should be of praise to you. Yes, to human beings you've done something, but these ones are all already done by Allah well, and he's only them. giving you that knowledge so that you can be able to have something that resembles influence, oh, but well. ultimately Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that has control oh, over sure. this uh, sure. entire element. So Therefore, uh, as we uh, come to our, the conclusion of our program, uh, our dear viewer, please understand, especially as a Muslim, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has, has warned you about the people that you choose to have children with. They have genetic content. They moreover contribute a whole half of the chromosomes that form this new mm -hmm. baby. But the good thing is that the chromosomes are randomly distributed. That's why we have said you'll find a child who resembles the mom 100% and there's no sign of the father. So you don't say, ah, now the father didn't contribute. No, the father has now taken over some other parts 
maybe he has taken over the entire uh, <coughs> intelligent part mm. and etc and that is also another thing that another may, thing. Say, may worry about mm. uh, the, the, the intelligence the of the children yes. is also partially dependent on uh, the intelligence of the parents of the parents. both of the parents bring but like we said the the, the, the chromosomes are chosen randomly so you could very uh -huh. easily find some very tough mathematician producing children that have nothing that, uh, to have do nothing with mathematics. mathematics maybe one last thing before we do the final closure yes yes, yes. the initial chromosomes come together mm. <coughs> but what happens between conception and final birth Mm. can influence the way these ones finally play out. Oh, between conception and birth. Uh -huh. And that's too. why mothers mm. are warned about what they do during that process of having that child inside you. Mm. 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 Those things you are doing, the words you are saying, keep influencing the genetic formation of this child as it grows. So that's why they are, the women are warned, no smoking, no ETC, avoid mm. being emotional all the time. All because the those time. things you are doing, they keep changing, they keep the, way changing the way this child is forming genetically. And it ha can have very negative effects. Effect, so, so all of these are things that we need to worry about. And possibly that's why, that's the other reason why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is warning us mainly about the women. About because them. even if you, the woman may be originally a good one, good one yes. but, but the during the, the pregnancy she has she now has control that. over that entire period of nine months nine when months. this child is forming, it can also be another area where the behavior of this person that you have married can have an influence over okay so as we are winding up i think i know a minute or two yeah. uh, I, uh, this topic seems to suggest that uh, somebody needs to, to to look beyond the physical structure of uh, the prospective partner mm. now how can i what how do i how would i determine and know that the person um, i want to go for in marriage mm -hmm. Uh, is it is, is could potentially okay? I, I want to say the, the <laughs> chromosomes are <laughs> those that I should take care of. Uh, meaning, is it okay? Uh, is, some it, uh, is it some lab experiment? Now some of them are can be tested, uh, like SICO and all mm. these diabetes. Mm. Those are things you can test. Intelligence is observed. Oh, yeah. Intelligence, I think you see probably <laughs> how many <laughs> points did the person get in their olive. Although you may also do what is called Okuba. Uh, you may uh, hit miss yes. for you are thinking so this person has has had marks, uh, nice those max kumbe <laughs> the school did some magic and the students all passed so it but is generally you can assess uh, based on the uh, interaction with interaction the person because the person, intelligence yeah. is not only about scoring it's marks in marks, exams because yes. the person can be can can have a lot of things during the examination. So and so this score. this observation we do the. So for coaching. religion, you look at the external. external. You may not know what is inside, what is but inside. at least what has been Pray manifested. To Allah. Uh -huh. So, so that you said. get a person that is going to to give a good foundation to the next for level. The science go for the lab tests. Uh -huh. For the parts uh, which we know very well, like diseases, diseases please test right. for the diseases. Can you believe there are some serious people that mm. up to now? Mm. are just being reminded to test for HIV, HIV. before they get married. Oh, no, oh, we should oh, really oh. be serious. Because if you endanger yourself to the level that you finally get HIV from a partner mm. because of the unseriousness of not testing, oh, wow. the Sharia may actually consider you a negligent person, person and you <coughs> become liable to the danger that you have exposed yourself to. So it is important that we think very carefully about mm. these genetic questions. The good thing we have tried to be as simple as, as possible simple so as that possible, yes. we don't go into the very complex mm. biology. Mm. But yeah. the business is you bring half, the, 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 the mom the brings half, half and then the you two combine and form the baby. So the two of you have major influence on what this baby becomes. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank our guest <laughs> for making it uh, to come and share with us uh, aspects of Islam and science. We are looking at the parent-child genetic influence. And suffice to note is the messenger Muhammad. So some oh, daughters, let's be careful. The man, be careful where you drop your seed. 
because you're going to uh, bring out uh, off offsprings that should uh, have a, a clear and uh, good influence from the two of you. If you don't choose wisely, you might have issues like hereditary diseases, you can might issues of uh, even dif 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 the defects in different aspects, mm -hmm. which you might not want to contend with in future. I uh, want to pray that Allah SWT continues guiding us and giving us knowledge to appreciate his uh, uh, beauty, uh, beauty, appreciate his wonders of creation such that we become better and better Muslims. I want to remind you that uh, if you missed out on the, the beginning parts of the program, uh, just go to YouTube, type Salam, and then you'll uh, type Salam. Sorry, go to the Salam YouTube page, type Al Hidayah, and then the topic will be brought for you to recap whatever you could have missed. I want to remind you as well that uh, tomorrow is the 10th of Muharram which is uh, a very important day in the Islamic uh, uh, religion, the day that Allah saved Prophet Musa salam, and his uh, people from the persecution they had in Egypt. So our message encourages us to fast the day before it. I hope those that are fasting Monday, you will join the intention of fasting the day before it, and then tomorrow you will be forgiven sins for a full year. And then those that are in the habit of fasting, if you start today, I want to give you good news that uh, you can only unfast next week on Monday because <laughs> you start today, the day before tomorrow is Ashura, the day after Ashura is the, the Wednesday, Thursday is normal day of fasting from Friday to Sunday are the full moon days or the white days, then Monday again fasting. So those <laughs> that uh, Allah has made easy the battle of fasting, please this whole week is yours to enjoy and get the rewards. Otherwise, we thank you very much. Thank you very much for keeping it at uh, Salam TV and wish you a fruitful uh, week. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and guide us all. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Eno ye Salam TV. Adhan, nge kutusi wako. Hotel of